I'm Miss Corinne and it's time for tales. I'm in my home studio today because the story I have for you is too loud for the library. It's The Three Cabritos by Eric Kimmel. You may have heard this story before because a cabrito is a young goat. Well, once upon a time there were three cabritos, three young goats, and they were brothers. They had a band. The youngest, Reynaldo, played the fiddle. The second, Orlando, played the mandolin. And the oldest, Augustine, played the accordion. They loved to make music together. So when they heard about a big fiesta going on over the Rio Grande in Mexico, they knew they had to go. Mama, they said, we're going to Mexico. We're going to cross the Rio Grande and we're going to play at the fiesta and it's going to be the best time ever. But Mama was not so happy. No, my sons, you can't go over the Rio Grande. You know who lives under the bridge. The Chupacabra. Oh, Ma, we're not scared of no Chupacabra. We'll be fine. Don't even worry about us. And so the three brothers set off with their instruments toward the river. The youngest, Reynaldo, was so excited that he ran ahead of his brothers. And he got to the bridge and set one foot and out jumped the chupacabra. Buenos dias, I am the chupacabra and I'm going to eat you. No, please, senor chupacabra, please don't eat me up. I'm so small, I would barely be a snack. You know, my, my brother, Orlando, he's coming after me and he's much taller. He would be a much, much more filling than me. You'll say you have a brother. Hmm, I'm pretty hungry, but say, What's that under your arm? This? This is my, my fiddle. Do you like music? I love music. Can you play it? You know what, young cabrito? Play your fiddle for me, and if you're good, I won't eat you. Okay. No pressure. No pressure. instead but if you come back this way again I will eat you you got it senor chupacabra I'll never come back before long the second brother Orlando came jogging along he was trying to catch up with Reynaldo and he had left Augustine behind but you know what happened as soon as he set his foot on that bridge I am the chupacabra buenos dias I'm going to eat you Senor Chupacabra, please don't eat me. Oh, Mama was right. We should have listened. Oh, Chupacabra. Senor Chupacabra, really, I have your best interests at heart. Do you see how stringy I am? I'm very skinny. You definitely don't want to eat me. You know what? You should eat my brother, Augustine. He is so much bigger than me. He would be a delicious meal. I feel like I've heard this before. Say... What are you carrying under your arm, Cabrito? Oh, this? This, this is, this is my mandolin. You like music? I'll tell you what, Cabrito. You play your mandolin for me, and if you're good, maybe I won't eat you, and I'll eat your older brother instead. Oh, okay, thank you, Senor Chupacabra. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> You're not quite as brother good as your brother at the fiddle, but that's okay. I will let you go. But if you ever come this way again, I will eat you. 
No tricks. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye. My brothers are running so fast. Why are they running? Almasin came along, the biggest and the oldest. But he stepped one foot on that bridge. You know what happened. Buenos dias! I am the Chupacabra and I'm going to eat you! Well, you are big, Chupacabra, but uh, I'm kind of big too, you know. I work out, I lift weights, and I might be able to take you. You may be bigger and stronger than your brothers, but I am bigger and stronger than you. Augustine saw that the Chupacabra was right. Okay, you know what? You're gonna eat me, but... I just have one final request. Please, Senor Chupacabra, before you eat me, can I play my accordion one final time? Okay, go ahead. If you're half as good as your brothers, it will be a nice pre-dinner serenade. Thank you, Senor Chupacabra, you won't regret this. <laughs> <laughs> the chupacabra stop it stop playing you're hurting me ah oh, my ears oh this is the worst thing i've ever heard augustine kept playing and playing until the chupacabra <gasps> burst like a balloon that was weird he's gone Augustine joined his brothers at the fiesta and they had the best time. They played music all night and they ate and they danced and it was the best fiesta they'd ever been to. And when they headed back home over the Rio Grande, they didn't worry a bit about the chupacabra. In fact, nobody ever saw him again. But if I were you and I was gonna cross that bridge, I'd bring my accordion just in case.